new concerns about tainted alcohol that could be at resorts or clubs in Mexico as millions of Americans head south for spring break. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more. And Gio, some lawmakers now say the U.S. should be doing more. That's right, Robin. They're directly calling on the State Department to take action. We're talking about alcohol that's been tainted with dangerous levels of toxic ingredients like methanol. And now one congresswoman says enough is enough. This morning, some members of Congress pushing the State Department to do more about the dangers of tainted alcohol in Mexico. That is a tremendous concern on the part of the U.S. government. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin calling for action after reports in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel of more than 140 recent injuries and even some deaths among American vacationers after they say they drank just small or moderate amounts of alcohol. Baldwin writing in a letter, I am extremely concerned the State Department must do more to protect protect and assist our citizens when abroad. 20-year-old Abby Connor died after she and her brother Austin were found face down in a waist-deep pool at a resort in Mexico in 2017. Her family, speaking exclusively with ABC News last July, questioning whether alcohol they consumed could have been tainted. The bartender pours out a line of shots and they come all the way down and I take one and, you know, everyone else does. And the last thing I remember was just like we are right now, sitting here talking, and lights went out, and I woke up in. So you went from fine yep. to blacked out yep. in seconds? Like I said, I felt completely normal. Representatives of the resort where they were staying say no tainted alcohol was ever found there. Mexican officials say they've seized 1.4 million gallons of tainted alcohol, a toxic mix of cheap ingredients from Mexican businesses in the past seven years, including tourist hotspots like resorts, clubs, and bars. Raquel Rutledge at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel has been investigating this story for the past six months. I have reports from more than 150 people that have had blackouts, sexual assaults, robberies. Like Heidi and Corey Sorum, who told the Journal Sentinel they had two shots in the pool before getting ready for dinner. He's in the shower, and that's all I remember from the trip. Yelling her name, could not find her, and I looked over this balcony and I could see legs on the ground. She was completely naked, unconscious, bleeding from the mouth and the head. Wow, and when they got back to the U.S., doctors discovered she had a full skull fracture, bruising on her brain, and a severe concussion. Meanwhile, the State Department says the U.S. is not able to prosecute there because they say that's up to the Mexican government. Mm, but something yeah. has to be done. And like you're right, it's spring break time. People yep. will be heading down there. You need to keep this in mind. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Gio.